uh, this is SAP FIMM integration training and uh, the business process that we are going to see today is that vendor specific tolerances in uh, logistics invoice verification so this training is delivered from ficoanalyst.com so the main objectives for this particular session is that i would like to understand the concept of uh, logistics invoice verification tolerances and uh, configure vendor specific tolerances and also compare uh, different types of tolerances uh, within the tolerance uh, configuration uh, for example negative differences absolute and percentage values and the comparison with uh, negative small differences same way positive differences with absolute value as well as percentages and uh, again positive small differences okay so these these kind of uh, vari uh, variances uh, when they occur and uh, you know system would check for the tolerances and uh, whether to allow or not to allow will depend on the type of configuration that we put in place so uh, basically in order to complete the entire entire process so we'll try to understand the tolerance limits concept and we configure that and then uh, we also assign that tolerance limits to the vendor, a particular vendor, and we'll see that. And we will process invoice receipt and see the impact of tolerances uh, of the different percentages. And then uh, we post a document and verify the document for accounting entries. So to understand the tolerances, uh, basically the tolerances are acceptable limits for processing an incoming invoice. So the incoming invoice also is called as LIV, Logistics Invoice Verification in uh, SAP. And these tolerances uh, can be configured for uh, all vendors or in a specific vendor, okay? So example uh, being like, let's say goods receipt value is posted as $1,000, uh, which is also called the CRIR value and the invoice is re received for $1,100 or $800. So if it's $1,100, uh, the positive difference of the invoice is $100. And if it's a $800, the negative difference of the invoice is $200, okay? So this is what the you know, tolerance and uh, we configure the system to accept or reject particular level limits. So in, in order to understand, like let's say we have a purchase order, when the purchase order is subjected to, you know, receive goods shipped by the vendor, so then you are receiving the goods, then obviously you post a document, which is, you know, debit inventory and credit your in GRIR, okay? So the moment uh, the GR is complete and then, you know, you are expecting the invoice to be received, let's say you receive the invoice from the vendor, and once you receive the invoice, obviously you have the tolerances if they are configured to your vendor. So that particular tolerances will kick in. And then the tolerance may be the negative or positive tolerance. And the limits will be checked. Okay. So then after that limits are checked, so then if it's a green, which means like not to go, right? And uh, I mean, within the tolerance limits, your amounts are then you are posting a, a credit vendor and debit, obviously GRIR, and then it will post either credit or debit, uh, depending upon that, you know, difference to a difference account. And if, for example, if the tolerance is not within the limits, right? So the invoice amount is not within the tolerance limits, then you know, it will be red, and then basically you are you are, you know, stopping the process there and you are not allowing the system to um, basically process or, you know, post the document, okay? So here, um, you know, this is a small uh, matrix developed by FSUAnalyst.com. Again, uh, this can be, you know, developed to your users so that, you know, they will understand exactly what is happening, okay? So uh, basically, uh, there are like three, you know, like, you know, types of tolerance limits that you set. One is what you call absolute value, absolute value. And then one is percentage. 
and then there is something called small difference. Okay, so these three fields that you enable in the tolerances and in the later uh, presentation, I will show you in SAP as well. And these three values will work hand in hand in order to see that whether a particular tolerance is triggered or not triggered. Okay, or you know the limit is subjected to be allowed or not allowed. For example, let's say let's take the rule one, which is we maintain in the configuration. Let's say hundred dollars is the absolute value, and uh, and also we maintain that like percentage wise, let's say five percentage, and then the small price difference is forty dollars. Okay, so what we are telling the system is up to forty dollars, right? Don't check anything. If anything less than forty dollars, then just please go and accept it. And then you know, which means like even even if the percentage is higher uh, when you are comparing, so then you know, then if the small price difference is to the small price difference, it will be acceptable. Okay. So then uh, then let's say you know you have thousand dollars a year, and invoice is thousand dollars, and obviously if this is the situation, then you know it's green this because there is no difference obviously. Let's assume that you have a GR $1,000 and the invoice is $1,100. Now, based on the rule one, system will check, hey, how much percentage is it amounts to be? It's $50. Whereas how much is the absolute value? $100. When you just look at the only absolute value, it looks good, right? But since the percentage is less than in the absolute value, right? So then obviously system will go and say that, it's not acceptable because and also this particular percentage $50 is more than the small price difference right like $40 so $100 difference which is occurring here is more than more than percentage value as well as more than your small price difference that is the reason it is it is basically you know red which is not allowed to be posted let's say rule 2 uh, we maintained the percentage, I mean, absolute value is $100 again, and percentage wise, like 5%. But the small price difference, let us assume that uh, for, for the example sake, let's say we maintained $60. So now what happens? Absolute value is $60 difference, right? So this is acceptable. But when it comes, you know, when it looks at like 5%, obviously $50. So this 60 is not acceptable when you compare with percentage with absolute value. But the same 60 is acceptable uh, when you compare with the percentage because the small price difference that you maintained is $60. So up to $60, you are telling the system, just ignore all other things. Up to $60, you go and accept it because it's a small price difference. So then system in this situation, it will be successful because obviously $50, which you know percentage that you are having, is obviously less than $60. So, I mean, when you compare with the small price difference, then, you know, this, this is acceptable. So, it is a little bit complicated uh, if you, you know, think together, but, you know, line by line, if you really analyze it, it is easy. And uh, I will show you in the SAP demo as well. And also, like, you know, uh, when you are working with your users, please develop this kind of uh, matrix so that, you know, it will be very, very clear for your uh, your users. And end of the day, the clarity for the users is the best consulting that you can have. Okay. And uh, obviously, you know, now we are going for the vendor uh, specific tolerances configuration. And um, you know, I would be, I would be, you know, going into SAP and giving you demo of uh, the tolerances how we are setting it up. Okay. This is uh, SP our transaction uh, in SAP and. Uh, Obviously, if you go to MM section like materials management and then uh, logistics invoice verification, and you can see incoming invoice here. Under incoming invoice, you are going to a place where configure vendor specific tolerances. Okay, so this is the place where uh, I am here. So let me go to a particular company code uh, which I was experimenting. Right, so then you know this is the place where. You can see that you know this particular tolerance group that I'm experimenting, and I would like to show you you know a particular uh, section here. You see here you have acceptable uh, automatic acceptance of positive differences. You have three sections. Okay, you have 
you know positive small differences so for this time being i am just disabling the tick and um, and also the percentage you know i am disabling here and i am right now maintaining the 100 dollars here right so this 100 dollars is the place where you are saying that this is the absolute difference right up to 100 dollars you accept whatever is there and if you do not enable this tick system will not check that so obviously in this situation now it is going to check only the absolute upper limit right and if i enable uh, five percentage then system will start calculating percentage as well as absolute value and look at that whatever is the lower value of these two will be you know a limit for that with that limit only it will accept or reject it okay and if i enable the small differences then you know first thing is that it will look at the difference at the small difference the moment is subjected to I mean small difference any value lower than 60 dollars for example here that's it you know system will not uh, you know look for absolute value uh, per limit or percentage limits because you know you are specifying that up to 60 dollars please ignore everything and allow the uh, difference okay so that is the way system is going to work and then the the moment you have this setup and then you know now you can go and uh, uh, experiment this particular aspect okay so let me let me save this particular thing and uh, let me remove here uh, upper limit for percentage and uh, and as well as that um, you know small differences let me get only hundred dollars here as the upper limit here and let me save this and after uh, saving this and this tolerance group you have to give in your vendor so because that is important uh, because this is a vendor specific tolerance and you will give that in a vendor master let me go to the vendor master um, fk02 or fk02 and then uh, i'm just going to the vendor master um, master data so let me quickly go to a place where you attach that uh, vendor specific tolerance you see here um, under the section invoice verification right you know payment transaction section of your vendor master so there you have this uh, invoice verification and you attach this particular tolerance group okay so this is the attachment of uh, the tolerance that you defined in configuration to the vendor master here okay so the moment you configure uh, attach here to the vendor master then a system will start triggering um the the differences right so now let let us have this scenario and then let me go to a purchase order which i already created okay and then we can start experimenting as uh, you know invoice okay so let me open here so this let me just start over i'm doing miro here and i have a purchase order created already so just to show you the uh, impact here so I'm just giving the date here. Okay. So uh, from this purchase order point of view, if you see that this is the GR amount which was already posted, right? Now I want to do the experimentation of um, obviously the, the the tolerance, right? So now let me say here um, I enable, I disabled all the taxes and all that so that you know you will see exactly the how the impact is working on. Okay. So I am putting here, you know, thousand dollars. So obviously, my GR value was thousand dollars, and the amount was thousand dollars. Is thousand dollars? So obviously, there is no difference. So you know, they, it's not checking any tolerances. Now, if you look at the configuration, so right now we are absolute limit is only checked, and which is hundred dollars is absolute limit, which means up to hundred dollars extra which means like for example thousand dollars i'm saving it to one thousand one hundred dollars right you will see the green you see here the difference is hundred dollars and it is okay right so the moment i put like one thousand one hundred and one dollar which is extra of one dollar one thousand one hundred and one dollar that's it you know system will prevent it because absolute value is kicking in and then it is saying that hey you know you cannot 
post anything above this hundred dollar okay the difference so now that is the reason this particular thing is uh, triggered so now uh, just to make it more interest let me save this as a upper limit for the percentage and let's see the impact of the percentage along with the absolute value when absolute value absolute value only was there so then it, it triggered absolute values situation now system will be start we start calculating the percentage also now let us see since you are given a five percentage obviously on thousand five percent is a fifty dollars so now let's give one thousand fifty this is acceptable because up to fifty dollars is fine but if anything above fifty dollars for example one thousand fifty one dollars are given that's it so now between these two between the percentage and absolute value system has gone and looked at the percentage and it said like fifty dollars you cannot cross the fifty dollars that's what is triggered here right so that is that is what exactly now your percentage is working on here okay so now up to fifty dollars only like anything less than the fifty dollars i mean difference is acceptable because the way that setup is there okay but now let us say you know small difference let us put sixty dollars right and then uh, you know like let us give a uh, check limit here right you know the small price difference so now if i give that particular thing here and what you are telling the system is that you ignore even percentage just up, look up to 60 dollars if anything beyond 60 dollars then only you subjected to other limit check okay so now i saved that now let's see uh, 1051 would be okay or not so you see the 1051 now it is okay because now system is looking at the small price difference right so since the system is looking at the small price difference, now it is able to post to that particular value. So now I am up to how, how much value, like for example, 1060 is also okay, right? Because small price difference is $60. And then if I make it to $1,061, then obviously system will not allow because now it is crossing the limit here. And also, it, system, you can see the message, right? So it's like now it goes balance is not zero because it is not telling you that you know it's because of the tolerances, but it is telling you that you know I cannot you know match it up because it is beyond the limits, right? So let us you know just simply take let's take one thousand sixty dollars here, and you know simulate. In a simulation, you can see what is happening. The accounting entry wise, you see. Debit to the vendor here. I52week.com is the vendor here, and then uh, the GRIR value and the sixty dollars is going to the small price, you know, difference here. Okay. So you know because of these three elements like absolute value, percentage, and you know, a small price difference. So like a lot of times it is confusing, but but it's very easy to understand if you think of logic. Okay. And I'm going ahead and saving this. And if you if you again look back uh, to you know the document is saved here, right? So you know it is posted to the document, right? And you can display the document as well here. And uh, you can you can see the obviously the sixty dollars is posted as a difference and in the enterprise difference account. You see the small price difference account. So the GRIR is posted as well as the vendor now. Vendor is paying $1,060. We are paying the vendor the $1,060 here, so which is acceptable uh, tolerance limits. Okay. So this is what all about the differences. And the same way, the same logics are applicable here as well, which is a negative differences. So far, we talked about positive differences and the same logic, like you know, the upper limit. The, uh, the upper limit, lower limit here, and the percentage and the absolute value. Okay, so these are comparable to each other, and then the system will uh, set up and subject to the tolerances. I think again, you know, coming back to here, you know, the the matrix that we developed here, and then based on that, we have seen the demo, right? So I, hopefully, it is very clear for you, and we have looked at the configuration in. Uh, 
in SAP, and also uh, we looked at that like mirror transaction for uh, you know different uh, types of scenarios, right? And we posted the document, and again we looked at the um, that particular 